Hello everyone and welcome to another Hallow Caesar review. Tonight I am reviewing Scuttle. It is a pirate themed card game for one to five players ages six and up and it plays very very quickly on the box it says five minutes and that's about right. Uh, the games can be you know five to ten minutes depending on the type of players and how the cards come out of the deck. So, uh, what is Scuttle all about? Well, let's go ahead and show you the components. Um, first of all, you'll notice uh, it is, again, uh, just a card game. Uh, just a card game. It is a card game, and it is a really fun one at that. Now, this is uh, published by Jelly Bean Games, which I might add actually has a Kickstarter uh, going on right now for, I think it's Ninjatsu is the name of it. Um, it is a, I think, a similar uh, type game, kind of a sequel, if you will, but it's uh, ninja themed. So uh, I would say go ahead and check that out on Kickstarter right now. If this looks like something that you would enjoy, uh, you can check that one out as well. And yeah, so let's take a quick look at it. Um, it is very, very easy to uh, learn how to play. Um, so the box is very nice quality. Uh, we have uh, pretty decent uh, quality cards. It has a nice, the nice uh, linen type finish uh, to the cards. And um, yeah, I think though they will hold up nicely. Uh, so happy, happy about that. The uh, rule book, um, very, very short uh, and straightforward because the game is short and straightforward. Um, there is a, kind of a, a team variant for four players that you can play with. Um, and of course with five players then there's this Davy Jones character um, who uh, plays by those rules. So a little bit of variation there. Um, the game wins, or the game ends, and uh, the person win who uh, first wants to get 21 doubloons, uh, at least 21 in a, if you're not playing a team game, and 30 uh, if you are playing a team game. There's also a variant where you have to get exactly 21, um, and a variant where you play multiple games um, and keep certain cards from previous rounds. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the rules right there. And the basic mechanic of the game is simple enough. You either draw a card, add it to your hand, or you, from your hand, let's say you have a hand here, uh, you play one of your cards down. Now, uh, there is a few different cards and yet not uh, a whole lot to make it very complicated. There are, it is uh, like a deck of poker cards has a certain number a certain suit applied to the cards as well as numbers and then there's also king queen jack and aces and even some joker type things so um we can show you those so but the basic cards here uh the numbered cards you either will be able to play uh when you play them you can play them for their doubloon value so doubloon four Again, you're trying to get to 21. And so this one here is worth 10. Very nice. And there's uh, no really other option for that. Uh, it's played for 10 and that's really good. The other cards uh, will have, uh, you know, the two through nine um, have certain abilities that you can play the card for instead of the doubloon value. So like the cannon, you can play that and put it in the discard uh, pile and uh, you can choose one opponent to discard two cards. Uh, this one, uh, the powder keg, discard your hand and then draw three cards so you don't have exactly what you need. You're able to get rid of your hand and draw again. Uh, here's uh, one worth one doubloon and you also notice this has permanent on it So this one instead of playing Immediately and going to the discard you actually get to play this in front of you And you can turn it sideways like this so you know that it played it for the permanent 
uh, ability and not the doubloon uh, value. But the ship's wheel, whenever an opponent draws a card as their action, you get to draw a card. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So some of the lower abil or lower doubloon uh, cards have some very powerful abilities. Um, the pirate code, uh, place this on top of a treasure. It is now protected. It cannot be destroyed or stolen. So it's interesting because if you have the 10 in front of you, you're only 11 doubloon away. And if you play nine, well, you're pretty, pretty close. But you have to remember things can happen Treasures can be stolen, uh, discarded, things like that, but before your next turn. So it may be beneficial, more beneficial, instead of playing this for the nine treasure, to actually play this as the permanent uh, over your treasure chest to keep it protected. Um, the face cards in the deck don't have a doubloon uh, value associated with them. Uh, but they are, most of them at least, I think pretty much all of them are permanents. Um, I don't want to say all if there was some, uh, some case where it wasn't. But uh, these are usually some very powerful and very uh, game-changing abilities. So the Voodoo Queen, your other permanents are protected. They cannot be destroyed or stolen. Uh, whereas the Governor, you get to choose a suit. Cards of that suit are worth four more doubloons each and can only be played as treasure. So no one has, uh, you know, if someone says they kept, you know, the hook, uh, then the people have to play this for one. Uh, they cannot choose to play it for the permanent ability. Um, so there's some other ones. Now, I must uh, tell you the this deck that I'm showing you right now does have the some of the cards from the first uh, little expansion called the Curse of Blackjack. And uh, so I've just kept those in there. We always play with those cards now. Uh, it just adds another suit, um, some more cards to the deck, as well as uh, you can choose to play with this new summon action, which makes it really fun where you can, uh, instead of choosing to draw or play a card, you can summon a card and all that does and different is when you draw or summon it if it uh, is a treasure you must immediately play it as a treasure if not you get to add it to your hand just as if you had drawn it like normal now however if you draw well there's an ace so there are aces in here um, play this in front of another player that they cannot play permanence oh the black spot Oh, that's not a fun one to get. Um, so if I draw this on a summon action, I don't have a choice. It doesn't go in my hand or anything. I immediately play it down for three. Now, that can be really great because you're not taking that, an action to draw and play it. Um, but let's say I had a 10 and a 9 and I had those played as doubloon values. I'm at 19. I just drew a three, which takes me over 21. So I have to immediately discard all of my treasures. Oh no, I was so close. But hence the name Blackjack, I busted. And so you have to destroy all of your treasures. So it adds another element to the game. And it already it, it's already a quick game, um, but it can go a little bit longer depending on the type of permanents that are used and uh, how kind of vicious people can get with their actions. Um, but this actually speeds it up even a little bit more because you can seed uh, and get some of these numbers out quicker. But it is, plays really, really quick. Uh, again, it's very easy to teach people. Uh, there isn't a whole lot to the game itself. Um, you're either going to play a card for its treasure value or an action, or you're going to play an action. And the only other thing that you need to kind of tell people about is the permanence, meaning that that stays in front of people. And that's the game and the first expansion. And it is really, really quick and fun. I really enjoy it a lot. Um, there's some, obviously there's a lot of uh, variability with what type of cards are drawn, 
um, and things of that nature. It's not quite as variable and chaotic as, say, Flux. Um, it plays a lot quicker than Flux. And so that's one of the reasons why I really enjoy Scuttle is it plays so quick and it's really fun. It's kind of this stab you in the back element and a little bit of, you know, push your luck element with, okay, do I play this for the money value or the action? What's going to be better, better you know, more beneficial? There is also another expansion called Scurvy. Now, I don't keep these in the deck because these add more kind of a chaotic element to the game. They're still fun to play with, but I don't keep them in the deck always uh, because this, this one still ties in more with kind of the base feel of the game. Whereas this one, uh, you see it comes with a new action, Cure. Instead of drawing or playing a card, you may cure, shuffle all diseases and play back into the deck. Well, what do you cure from? You cure from these different diseases, typhus. Each player's highest valued treasure does not count toward their doubloon total. You may have yellow flag. Players must shuffle a disease in play at their of their choice back into the deck each time they draw a card. So there's all sorts of different uh, diseases. There's pox. But you also have a couple permanents to change the feel of the game as well. You have vitamin C. I, I, I get it. Uh, vitamin C, very, uh, you know, nutritious vitamin and very important uh, to avoid scurvy. Um, and if you have that permanent, the diseases do not affect you, which is great. The ship's doctor is interesting because it allows you to, instead of when you draw a disease, it's immediately played usually, you actually get to draw it into your hand and play it as an action. So you're gonna have better control over what diseases you will see. Uh, cabin fever, food poisoning, very, very fun artwork. I didn't mention that as we went through this. The artwork's fabulous, um, really, really fun. There is one card, I think, in the Blackjack expansion it was, the Sirens, uh, which, I mean, there's some naked people. Uh, you know, it's uh, they're covered up, but um, I do uh, like playing with my, my kids and stuff, and so I'll probably actually just end up removing it. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I should have had it pulled out, but... Uh, Anyway, um, just a heads up if you were to pick up this game, there is one card there. Um, but no, other than, I just, I don't know that I have anything uh, bad to say about the game, really. Um, it is and can be really, really random, but the games are so quick and so fast that you can just shuffle it up and see if your luck changes the next game. And uh, so it's really, really fun. I highly recommend it. Um, and that is Scuttle. Um, and again, they have a Kickstarter going on right now. Uh, I think Ninjatsu is the name of it. Um, I'll put a link into the description of this video if you want to check that one out as well. Um, but this is the first game I reviewed um, from the Jelly Bean Games. And uh, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. So uh, I'll be checking out the Kickstarter myself. And uh, anyway, Scuttle, fantastic pirate themed, quick card game, one to five players. Um, I almost even forgot to mention it does have a solo version of the game, a solo variant uh, that's described in the rule book. Uh, and you play with the Davy Jones uh, character and then the robot pirate uh, guides you into how pl to playing your opponent. And it actually plays pretty well. Um, so I really enjoyed that as well. And it, it works uh, pretty pretty well. So that is Scuttle. And uh, that is how Lou sees it.